Welcome to Maddie's Kitchen. I hope you brought your appetite with you. Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'll be making y'all some Salisbury steak my way and I'm quite sure you will enjoy it. And here's the ingredients I'll be using for mine. And this is some Worcestershire sauce. I hope I said that correctly. And this is garlic powder. I'll be putting some onion powders in there, salt, pepper, and this is brown grape. You know, I always use this brown grape, 30% less sodium. And I'll have some, that's a wish of sauce in this thing. I have two eggs. I have um, onion, bell pepper, I'm sorry. These are red onion and some butter. And here's my uh, meat. I got this from Food Lion, my ground beef. You should always use, when you're making, um, uh, Salisbury steak, meat, no, you shouldn't use the 93%. This is 85% lean, and that's what you should use, you know, because that's good. You don't, want, you don't want this to be too dried out because you want a Salisbury steak to be soft. N unlike a meat loaf, a meat loaf is coarse. A Salisbury steak is a soft. When you eat into it, it's very soft. Okay, and I'll get back with you. Okay, the first thing you're going to do, the bread, you're going to break it up in pieces, and you're going to put some milk, and I forgot to mention the milk. And you're going to put enough milk and let it set enough for about five pieces. I had two bread, uh, two hot dog buns. To me, that's the best thing to use. Hold on, put it in my I'm going to break it up and set it in here. It don't matter how big it is. You just don't want to ground your bread, you know, grind the bread up and stuff. You don't want bread crumbs, in other words. And I know I'm not going to use all of this, but I'd rather have enough than not too much. So I'm going to take and put a little milk in here. This milk here. Just enough to... This is not to um, cover it. Okay. Get it covered good. Okay. So you don't want a lot. Put a little bit more in here. And I'm going to set this aside until I get uh, get ready to put This probably be almost the last thing I put in there. But like I said, I'm going to set this enough here. Okay. Set this aside. Okay, then. Set this aside. Okay, y'all. I'm getting ready to mix my, um, my meat up with this stuff. Breaking it apart and using this is a good little bowl. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use all these ingredients that you see here. I'm gonna use all of them. But what I do, like I said, green peppers is really good in Salisbury steak meat low. You know, this is a good cheap meal that you can fix for your family. And I and like I said, I'll go all the way around. And when you do that, you most likely you're gonna have it's, it's, it's all you need to do. That's a good measurement. So those are my peppers. Uh, green peppers, and here's my red onion. So I put some of this and that make it taste so good with the green onions and celery steak. You don't want to overpower it. And so then next thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna put, I probably put some of my, I might put a little of my bread crumbs in here. My bread crumbs right here from here. I'll put these in here because I don't want to get it so good. This about enough for this. You know, I had two hot dog bun, but this right here is about enough. Mm -hmm. So I put that in there, and then I'm going to take and put my raw ingredients now. Put some salt, pepper, go all the way across, and this is a good re recipe, y'all. Just try it, because the onions and stuff, it don't take very much for Salisbury steak. You don't want to overpower it, so I got pepper. I went all the way around it. Put some salt in here. And, and one thing about this, you can taste the hamburger meat. I know some people eat it raw, okay? And here's some onion powder. That's to give it a taste. And put onion powder in here. Okay. And some garlic. Garlic is good with it. Some garlic. Okay, that's about enough. And I'm going to mix this up together. I got to put my eggs in. I don't want to see how dry it is. So I put my egg and my Worcestershire sauce last. You always do an egg. For this much of meat, I will use two eggs. So I can form this together. And you notice when you when you are eating Salisbury steak and you see that little white piece in there, you like you see some white bread. That's because they use the, they put the bread crumbs in milk. It always show that. You don't see that in meat meatloaf. So I'm gonna put um, a little my Worcestershire sauce in there. This will go all the way around it. This give it a good taste, y'all. Make sure you use that. And I'm gonna beat this egg up. Should have been beat up. These are two eggs. I'm gonna beat them up. Yeah, I don't feel like getting another spoon. 
I'm gonna beat this up. I'm put. I might not put all of this in because I got to see how it is. And what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mix this together well. I'm gonna mix it together well. And uh, with these, I'm gonna get it uh, form good and I'm gonna taste it a little bit and see what I need. I probably add a little bit more uh, spices and stuff, salt and you know the other spices. But this is all you need. And you can put a little beef broth in it too. It's not dry enough. But I'm going to mix this up and show you how it's supposed to look, and I'm going to get back with you. Okay, y'all. This is how I want to look. You know, sometimes the bread gives up the big thing. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go around this one more time because I taste just a little bit. Go around all my ingredients. Here's the green peppers. Just a little bit because you don't want to do that. I should have used my, <laughs> put the dry first, but that's okay. I'm going to put a little red onions in here. You know, just a little bit. I want this to taste good, honey. I know I needed a little salt. I'm gonna put a little salt. I gotta wash these off when I get them. some salt in here because I want this to be good. Okay, I'm gonna put some pepper. And you know what I forgot, yeah? And I'm gonna do it. I always do that last anyway. When I get there, I got the pepper and I got the garlic powder. I'm not gonna put no more wishes of salt in. Here's the main ingredient. I normally put in this is my brown grape mix. That's gonna, I'm gonna put some of that. I'm gonna, for this one, I'm gonna use only one pat. That's enough. One pat. And now I'm getting ready to put the thing. I, I, I put my vegetables in good to make sure it tastes good. And now it's right consistent to make you some Salisbury steak. I'm gonna form them. I'm gonna show you how to form, form a couple of them, but make sure that you mix all your ingredients. Yeah, I might put a little, just for the heck of it, a little more Worcestershire sauce in here. Just a tap. I, this is about a fourth of a cup. The first, you know, when I first started off, you know. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm get this ready. This is how I want it to look. You got your vegetables in here. You don't, you don't want to see your vegetables like you're doing meatloaf. Now, this is a little different. Like I said, it's going to be soft. And this is what I do. I take a meatloaf. I mean, another meatloaf. I take a, a ball in my hand. It fit like this right here. That's what I do. And I take it and shape it into like a little football or something. Shape. So that's good. And you don't want it real dried out. You know, shape it like this. And this is about the right size of a serving. I'll say this is a serving. And one thing about it, you put it together. Salisbury steak. Is, this is so good, y'all. So I'm going to take and put set this in the pan. And one thing about it, when you put it in there, flatten it down, because you don't want, these are, this is a serving size. You don't want a, a big, it'll get like a ball, it'll pile up, so you flatten it down. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to rise up. So I'm going to do about, do two more. I'm going to do for you in the shape them. Like I say, put them in there. And then this is, this is real soft. The texture of the meat is soft, and that's how you, you want it to be. You don't want it to be uh, like meatloaf, not as coarse as meatloaf. So I'm going to shape this again, like I say. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to try to get probably about six of these. Put them in there. And that the bread you see, just put it in. Because I know y'all used to see it, and you probably wonder why you see it. But I know I think that's a custom for years that it all went back in the early when they first started making it. Okay, I'm going to put this one in. These are kind of big, but you know, don't matter, like I say. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to form all of them. And like I said, make sure that you... Uh, Pat them down, make sure. And I'm going to form all of these, and I'll be back with you. Yeah, I made uh, six Salisbury steak, and I got my oven preheated to 400, you know, 400 degrees. And they're going to cook for about, oh, I'd say 30 to, uh, 30 to about 25 to 30 minutes. And make sure that you, after 15, 20 minutes, you check them. Because like I say, I mean, you're going to wrap them real good so they can stay soft and more. This in here, wrap it real good. And you want to pour it. You got a top. I'm going to put the top on that too. I have a top on there. And like I said, I'm settling here when I get through doing this. And 35 to 40 minutes, something like that, maybe less. Put them over here. Just make sure they seal good. Because like I said, you want them to be tender. You don't want them to dry out. Dry out. And I'll get back with you and back when they cook. Okay. Now here's their finish. That's how they look. They should look just like that. You don't want them no harder than that. No harm. So I'm going to spread some butter on here. Put them on. I'm going to put some green onions over here. I've sauteed those. I'm going to lay them on top of them. Put them in the oven. 
for about a second on broil. Stove should be on broil. I'm gonna put it on for a second too. Let me see. Okay. The stove should, should have been on broil, but so I'm supposed to take these onions and lay them across there and call this a day, honey. Call this a day. Because them Salisbury steak is delicious. They're delicious. I hope y'all enjoyed this little presentation, honey. I'm going to put these on a plate. And make sure, you know, you tune into Maddie's Kitchen and get a lot of videos. I could think of them. They come in my mind every day. I just don't do them. I get an idea every day on what to cook. I just, you know, get lazy sometimes. But just tune into me. Uh, bring your friends and family in. And like I said, thank you once again for Maddie's Kitchen. I'm going to put it in the oven.